Hi everyone, I'm Catherine Stewart and I'm here at Sustainability Week with Kate Heine, the Vice President of Sustainability at Booking Holdings. Thank you for joining me, Kate. To start us off, what trends have you been seeing in travel at Booking Holdings in the past few years? And to what extent do you see these trends being driven by a desire to be more sustainable in travel? Well, maybe I'll just pick a couple of them. Um, thanks for having me, Catherine. I'm, I'm pleased to be here, by the way. Um, so the first trend that I would outline is what we really saw during the pandemic in terms of people and travelers looking for alternative accommodation. So more homes, um, and vacation rentals versus hotels, motels, resorts. Um, and that that trend continues. You know, I think that that just to to say within kind of the, the COVID and the pandemic space, that trend is continuing. One that we we also saw pop up during COVID had a lot to do with this work from anywhere concept, right? Where people started to be able to, or, or to want to combine leisure and work travel. Um, what's interesting is there we're seeing a very distinct, uh, a significant uh, percentage. So about 66% of travelers are saying they definitely do not want to be combining those travel, um, those travel combinations this year. So that that's a distinct shift. Um, but I think in terms of sustainability what i would say um we we have seen and we see to continue is i think a lot of a lot of people travelers consumers in general right have kind of reprioritized and looked at their values and and kind of said hey what's working for me or what's not during the pandemic and what do i want to keep with me going forward so what we saw this year in our annual sustainability uh, insights report is that 76 percent of travelers want to make more sustainable choices and that's a year-on-year -year, um, increase so it's about up five percent from last year and about 10 or 11 percent from the year before um, what's interesting is that that also includes 30 percent of people that are always on the lookout for uh, brands that are more sustainable so we're seeing, you know, we are seeing this trend continue and there is a definite um, focus on more sustainable travel choices. So what does that mean then as a travel company and, and a set of stakeholders in the travel ecosystem? How are you at Booking Holdings responding to this? But also how are you seeing the entire ecosystem of players responding to these trends? It's a good question in terms of kind of the the bigger picture. I'll I'll maybe start there um, because I think we're seeing a lot of a lot of um, organizations, a lot of folks making moves towards more sustainable actions. And you're right, as Booking Holdings, we actually interact with accommodations, with flights, with uh, cars, and uh, destinations, et cetera. We have a, a wide variety of, of stakeholders and, and industry represented for, for travel. At Booking Holdings, what we're doing is we are seeking to meet that demand of the customer by, we last year we released a sustainable travel badge, which is, you can kind of think of it as a, a way marker for travelers to be able to identify what a more sustainable accommodation is on our platforms. So you can you can go what online. Is <laughs> Kate, what is a more sustainable accommodation? I know oh, that's a loaded question, but you're jumping the gun on the second half of my question. <laughs> um, I can tell you a little bit about how we're defining it for um, for um booking holdings at the moment but that's also the crux of the industry challenge mm -hmm. so okay. yeah, exactly so so first off we have you know we have kind of um a, a list of indicators and um impact areas that we have worked on developing through life cycle assessment we've worked with the a travelist you know third party travelist coalition and their group in order to um, have some credibility brought to this standard that we that we've developed. So we have a lot of kind of the scientific backup for this. We think it's a fantastic start. We launched it last year. We've syndicated it to our family of brands. So you can find the same information on agoda um, booking.com 
kayak and price line. So there's some some comparability there for the traveler that's looking for that. And the goal is, of course, to to have that or a, um, a standard that is simple, comparable, and credible across our industry. But therein lies the challenge. So <laughs> the challenge is is industry alignment, which I think we could probably talk about at at length. But um, it's not it's not only the travel industry that has this challenge, but um, but it is what we are facing right now in terms of how we can actually create momentum and impact together to meet the need of the traveler. So thinking about that challenge in reaching alignment, two follow-up questions there. One, do you sense a general consensus across stakeholders that there is a desire to reach alignment. So that, that's kind of one part. The second part is what types of tools, innovations, discussions are happening to try and actually start building some sort of alignment? So for the first part, do I sense, do I sense interest? Do I sense alignment growing? Um, I am, am, am new to the travel industry. Uh, I just joined booking about four months ago, but I would say um, that across industries, and this is sort of agnostic of travel, there's an absolute movement because customers industry over are really demonstrating and asking for more sustainable options. The challenge is very similar in most industries as well, you know, having a lack of a, of a standard uh, methodology and measurement. So I can just say that that yes, there is there is this interest. What I've seen in the travel industry since joining is there are a number of efforts underway. One of them is through the Travelist Coalition, which Booking was one of the co-founders. Uh, but this is a collection of participating companies and brands. So um, others that are included are, um, so it's Booking, it's uh, Visa, it's tra um, it is uh, TripAdvisor, it is other, other bodies that are sort of part of this ecosystem working to develop a common language, a common methodology, and a common way in which to, uh, to bring this information to customers. So there is interest. And I would say that it is growing um, because we're seeing uh, inflection points from various areas, including regulation. So we'll see that continue to grow. I think the momentum is just, the snowball is just starting to tumble. Um, in terms of, of booking uh, and innovations and tools you were asking about, I would say that one of the, one of the ways in which we are seeking to help catalyze the industry um, is to provide insights. And we, you know, as, as one of the largest travel companies in, in the world, we have the opportunity, we have insights from a lot of different areas to be able to provide um, data points and proof points for what travelers are looking for. So this statistic that I, I mentioned earlier, or a few of them, around 76% of customers and travelers looking for more sustainable options, that comes from uh, booking research that we've we've done year over year. And I think that those bits of insights and the more that we can provide this data to our industry and to the, the our partners, the more we're able to equip people with some cohesion around aligning the industry towards shared goals. So with the with this badge that I mentioned that that holding booking holdings has launched and with our family of brands, um, we've also just two weeks ago launched a public commitment around this that 50% of our bookings uh, will come from more sustainable booking uh, options by the end of 2027. So just in the next four years, we're really looking to um, to to ensure that we're meeting what our customers are looking for. Uh, and that shows kind of how embedded in our business model and what our ambition really is in this space. So, so we've spoken about sustainability as a broad term quite a lot in this conversation. When booking is thinking about sustainability, what elements are you looking at? Is it solely environmental? Is it environmentally, economically, 
socially sustainable, socially sustainable. What facets of sustainability are you really digging into at this juncture? Yes. So our ambition at uh, Booking Holdings for sustainability right now is to make sustainable travel um, the way in which to experience the world. And I think that we see that and we see our role within that in multiple different areas. We certainly think about that as a social, environmental and economic, you know, kind of the, the breadth of, um, of the sustainability definition, to your point. <laughs> right now we have three goals. The first one is around operating our, our business sustainably and building a culture of sustainability. And within there, we have a public target we were very excited to re release last year around our net zero climate goals. So we committed to have to meet net zero um, emissions by 2040. So 10 years before uh, the Paris Agreement even. So it's a, I think that really should um, help people understand the ambition and the strength of our, our the foundation of our strategy there. Our second goal is around how to help travelers um, travel more sustainably. And that is where you, you see the target that I just mentioned that we've just launched around um, over 50% of our bookings will come from more sustainable uh, options by 2027. And then the third area that we focus on at the moment is a really around how as um, a platform player or and a brand of travel companies that really touch on various parts of of the travel industry how can we catalyze the change that we need to see in the industry and that's really where we're talking about the the insights reports that we've been able to provide that's our alignment efforts within the travelist coalition and other kind of industry partnerships all working to drive that so at the moment what you hear is we have our climate targets and we have our sustainable booking targets which covers both environmental and social issues within that um, within that uh, ban but uh, that is the the breadth of our public targets at the moment we've spent a lot of time talking about what is going on right now across booking holdings across the industry i'd love to actually ask your opinion on what would you love to see the industry, to see booking holdings, to see the broader set of stakeholders around this issue actually move towards over the next three, five, 10 years? What's your vision? Well, <laughs> if I had, if I had a magic wand, Catherine, I would solve all of these challenges. But I, I think, um, what I'm really eager for, and this is something that again crosses industries, but is the utter roadblock to our ability to compete on sustainability. So I come most recently from the fashion industry, as you know, now I'm in travel and the same baseline roadblock exists. What is the definition of sustainable, in this case, sustainable travel? Without that, the industry and our efforts will be misaligned, will be traveling in different directions. We will not be able to come together and drive the impact that we all say and know that we want. So I would hope it's within a year. Realistically, I've been around long enough. It's probably three, um, hopefully not five or 10 years, but we need to, to come together as an industry to define what sustainable travel means so that we can have a level playing field, so that we can have all of our, our industry operating with the same information, providing the same comparable data to our travelers, such that we can all step out front, play the role that we play best, you know, whatever, whatever that might be in the ecosystem, and compete on the more important business opportunities that we see in terms of travel. And that sustainability is only a, um, another decision factor or another, you know, kind of um, credible criteria in your decision making when you go through your uh, your travel plans as as a customer. Um, but 
having an aligned point of view is, is a very grandiose perspective, but ultimately the goal here is creating a uh, thriving economy, um, world in which we all want to visit and travel through and really making travel be the leader in that space. That's, that's the vision. That's the sustainable future I want to see. So one cheeky question before <laughs> we close. If you had to take a first stab at that definition, what would it be? That is a cheeky question. <laughs> it's certainly too long for a 30 second answer. Um, but but it is, uh, it, in effect, it actually measures the most important uh, impacts for the business model that it's measuring. So accommodations and cars, on the back end, they might look different for how you measure things. But as a traveler, what you will see is something that you is simple to understand. It's comparable between car companies and accommodation companies, and it's credibly uh, measured and reported so that I trust the information. So simple, comparable, and credible is what I'm looking for as a, a traveler, and that's what we should aim for. Kate, thank you for this time. It's been such an interesting conversation. And I, I hope the vision you've laid out becomes true because as someone who travels, I certainly would find that helpful. I, I hope so too. I would find it helpful. And uh, I think we're we're on our way starting that. And I'm really excited about the journey ahead. Thank you for having me. Cheers, Kate. <laughs>